Welcome to the webinar presentation on life story work. My name is Rashda Kulwadia. I am a therapeutic social worker here at Centre for Adoption Support. I provide post-adoption support to families at various stages of their adoption journey. This webinar recording will explore life story work and how this should be integrated into your child's life to aid their understanding of themselves and their adoption, as well as their birth history. We will touch upon research findings conducted by Richard Rose, Brzezinski, Strobe and Schutt, as well as Silverman and Klass. Aims of the webinar, to explore what constitutes as life story work and what it means. It isn't all about the life story book. To explore issues of loss for children who are adopted. To consider the different stages of children's understanding surrounding what it means to be adopted to discuss approaches of helping children to make sense of their past. What is life story work? The Department of Education 2011 classifies life story work as a realistic and honest account of circumstances surrounding the child's adoption. As highlighted by Brzezinski, the aim of the life story work is to help children understand their family history as well as their adoptive status Obviously, children who live with their birth family will have many opportunities to know about their past, including the smallest details of themselves. But our children are often denied these opportunities as they may have moved from birth families to different foster carers. They have moved from different nurseries and schools and from different neighbourhoods and communities, all before they came to live with you. As a result of this, they may lose track of their history. It is confusing and there hasn't been a stable person alongside them to help them make sense of it all. This can, ha this can make them it hard to develop socially as well as emotionally. Knowing where you come from is part of knowing who you are. However, life story work is not something that will be achieved in a single day or session. It is a lifelong exercise. This is reinforced by Baines 2008, who, dis who states that life story work is a process, not a product, and most children will need to return to it as their understanding of what happened to them changes over time. As the child gets older, their understanding will develop. This means that they may mature. They can be told more information, parts of their birth history. It is important to always be honest and to reassure them that it is natural to have questions and that you are open to hearing them and answering them. You will need to determine how much of their history can be told at that time and ensure that it is age appropriate. The process should also be as inclusive as possible so that they are involved rather than it being done to them. Baines 2008 further comments that the truth of family life is really simple and children may need to cling to an idealised version of events until they are ready to look more closely at what went wrong. The Australian Childhood Foundation describes trauma as not what happened but the residual left after what happened. There is a vast amount of evidence which demonstrates that the children who have experienced trauma slow down developmentally. Life story work can begin to help our children understand the trauma that they have experienced and how it still affects them today. It should be noted that life story work will not automatically make them process their trauma and be fixed, as indicated by Strobe and Schutz. Grief and loss is an oscillating process. This is supported by the works of Silverman and Class, who do not think that grief and loss is ever truly resolved. They suggest that rather than finding closure and letting go, we will often negotiate the meaning of this loss over time. Your child may ask the same questions over and over again as they try to make sense of their past and put it in context. Your child should have a life story book which can be used to help you in telling their story. Don't worry if their story book is too detailed as having it around the house can help normalise the conversation surrounding their history as well as their adoption. Keep the book somewhere safe so that the child knows where it is but an adult will be present when they look at it. This allows for any questions to be responded to at the time but more importantly gives the child a sense of safety in the presence when thinking about things that may not have been safe in the past. Importance of life story work. 
As established by Richard Rose, Life Story Work has the therapeutic benefit of aiding to establish a potential link between a child's past to their current feelings and behaviours, their previous history with birth family and the behaviours that children will have adapted to survive are effectively like the roots of a tree. Once a child begins to understand these roots, they can begin to understand their survival behaviours. Through Dan Hughes, pace, playfulness, acceptance, curiosity and empathy, you can begin to use curiosity as a way of teasing the links between their history and their dysregulated behaviours so that they too can understand themselves. Life story work can help to create a secure base for our children to explore their past, present and also their future. It can help them integrate their past into the present and therefore aid them in moving forward. All of our children will have experienced loss and therefore life story work is vital in helping them understand their history, identities and learning to cope with grief. You may want to avoid talking about their birth history with them because you don't want to hurt their feelings or re-traumatise them, but this could be sending your child the message that their history is a taboo subject. In some cases, this could lead to a further sense of rejection and shame because our children may then internalise that if the topic is unacceptable, then they are too because it is their history. We all manage grief and loss best when we're given the opportunity to talk about it. You will be the expert on your child. You will know what age they are both cognitively and emotionally. So we'll know what they will be able to process at the time of them asking questions. For our children, they often believe that they have experienced trauma and are no longer with their birth family because they are or have been inherently bad. This is the internal narrative that they create. Kim Golden comments that life story work can provide an alternative narrative for our children to the one that they have developed in their, in their fear and confusion. It is important to understand that it will not make the first narrative go away, but having other ones can lead to more flexibility in their thinking and to hope. What can life story work do? Life story work can help our children to acknowledge their feelings surrounding the grief and loss that they have encountered, enhance their self-esteem and confidence, develop a sense of permanency and security, build and enhance their attachments to you. Life story work can help you as their parents to understand them better, develop and increase your empathy towards them, build and enhance your attachments to them. It is okay if you don't know an answer to a question that they have or are unsure of how best to word something so that you can deliver it sensitively. There's nothing wrong with telling your child that it is an excellent question and that you will find the answer out whilst you decide how best to approach it. Just remember not to shut the conversation down as our children will be able to recognise this and therefore may feel the subject cannot be broached. Please remember that it is possible to speak of birth families with respect and compassion without denying the hurt that the child has suffered. Life Story Sets Brzezinski Research conducted by Brzezinski in 2011 categorised children's understanding of adoption during different periods of their lives. When a child is between the ages of 3 to 5 years old, they may use the language of adoption including describing themselves as adopted and talk about their birth parents. However, they will not understand it and they will not understand the link between biological relatedness and family. Therefore, it is important to have an open atmosphere which will help the child to, be, to feel able to ask questions about their past, present and future. Check their understanding when discussing the past. When a child is between the ages of six to eight years old, they may begin to understand the significance of biological connections, which may result in them asking questions about their position in the family. They may also begin to develop their logical thinking skills and realize that they have lost their previous family when gaining their new one. This could also include the child starting to develop empathy and worrying about their birth parents, feelings and well-being. During middle childhood, so approaching the age of 12 years old, the child may challenge the explanations of their life story and begin to formulate their own explanations. However, they do not have much lived experience to understand their birth parents' difficulties and circumstances. 
Therefore, it is important to support them in understanding more about their life story. Reassure them that it is okay to be curious about their birth history. They will need to be told this. During adolescence, the child will develop abstract thinking and starts to understand the implications of adoption, which will include beginning to understand the permanence of adoption. They will also start to understand the wider societal view of adoption and therefore may worry that they are considered second best. They will also further develop empathic thinking, which will lead to more realistic view of their birth parent situation. Methods for younger children. Stories can be a useful resource in helping our children to make sense of their transition and of permanence. There will be plenty of storybooks out there for adopted children. Alternatively, you can make your own, which can be tailored towards your child's adoptive circumstances and their birth family's history. Golding observes that life story work may be quite difficult for the younger child to understand and be captivated as they will have different interests. In such cases, you can use the child's interests, whether they be animals, toys, TV show, characters, etc., to tell their story metaphorically. Such objects can be used to represent the child and their family members and may allow the child to reflect upon their experience indirectly. As a result of this, they may gain a coherent sense of what has happened to them, as well as the story providing hope that the trauma is survivable, so helping them to feel hopeful and more comfortable. The voices of Norfolk children, adopted and looked after children in Norfolk, have shared their views about what they wish other adults to know about how to deliver life story work. They think it is important that adults know to ask, engage if the child is comfortable and ready to start talking about their history and birth family. That they would like photos and artwork alongside the life story work to help them understand it more. Some may even want to revisit the areas and places that, they, that you are talking about when explaining their past, but make sure to ask them first. Some children want memory boxes and memorabilia to be kept from when they were younger to be integrated into the story. This is so that they can visualise how small they were and have keepsakes. That they want to be able to talk about their past with birth families sometimes. Not to judge their birth family or them. It is all very confusing and they are still trying to figure it all out for themselves. They may get upset and if they do, just give them some time to think. Messages to convey during life story work. Life story work is all a process that you will experience with your child and as I already mentioned is to be taken at their pace. Please try to remember that throughout their process your child is aware that their history and past events are not the child's fault. That any baby in those circumstances would have been removed. The key factor was the circumstances not the individual baby that they are loved and are lovable, that they deserve better parenting, that they are claimed and they belong, that adults can be trusted and that they want to understand, that the future is positive, full of hope and with you. I hope that you have found this Life Story webinar useful. We understand that there is often a lot of pressure on our parents to deliver Life Story work based on a child's age. So please remember that as Adoption Matters family, you are entitled to four consultations a year if you have one or two children and up to six a year if you have three or more children. These consultations are a part of your core offer and will be held with one of the CFAS therapists. There are also further webinars on our website.